So good day, fellas. Today we're going to talk about the nautical chart. This includes the information found on the chart and symbols that can be found on the nautical chart, and maybe how it looked like in real life. So first, Mamangin, you know, will discuss about the informations that are written on the chart and followed by Apostol. So, oh, so now I'm going to show you the different symbols that can be found in the nautical chart. So first, I want to show you the, the seal. This is the seal. This is the chart title. So the depth is in meters. The scale is the 1 is to 30,000, which is harbor chart. Got so these words that is written in black is the primary information and this magenta color is the precautionary information. This is the corner coordinates which is 1 degrees 34 minutes north and 104 degrees 10 minutes east. This is the Tidal informations and as you can see this is the chart number this part is the latitude the direction is north because it is increasing so 18 minutes 19 20 21 minutes this part is the longitude which is east so as you can see east so the numbers are increasing going to east so four minutes five minutes six minutes and so on so now we're gonna talk about the symbols and abbreviations that can be found in a nautical chart so so this symbol means the direction of voyage and this symbol means the radio re reporting point. So if you are going to this direction, you have to report to the port authority. And this symbol is a boy. So this means that it is a green boy and it flashes green in color every four seconds. And same in this also. And this here means that light and beacon line in 311.4 degree. So the line and beacon is here, in here. So flashing on 5 seconds, 27 meter in elevation and 10 nautical miles visibility. And this place here are the anchorage area. So there are a names for each anchorage area. So general purposes is for general cargo ships. So only general cargo ships are allowed to anchor here. And here the dangerous goods area. So all ships that are carrying dangerous goods like oil or crude oil are required to anchor here. And here is the petroleum area so all ships that are carrying petroleum are anchored here and this is the quarantine for ships so next is the pilot station so this symbol here means that it is a pilot station and the name is Johor port and also this a pilot station name is East Johor Strait boarding ground and this lines are the contour lines so this represents the depth of the water so 20 means 20 meters in depth so in here is less than 20 as you can see it is 18.9 meters and here is more than 20 which is 23 meters so this broken lines here means that it is the port limit so as you can see Singapore port limit so in area here is Singapore and here is Malaysia. So 
So there is a line indicating the port limits. And this wavy line here is the submarine cables. So as you can see, in this, it is buried or it is found underground or under the sea. And this here is a South Cardinal Mark. So this boy means that it is a South Cardinal Mark. So YB means yellow and black. So it, it, it indicates the color of the boy or the mark. So here is the light characteristics that is displayed by this boy. And here is the name of the boy, which is S. Nilayan. And here is the lateral mark boy. So as you can see, it is R, means red. That is the color of the boy. And the light characteristics. And the name of the boy, which is South Angler. So this symbol means that it is the precautionary area. So in this area, there are ships that are crossing, either going to this channel or out of this channel. So if, if your ship is transiting this place, you have to take caution since there are ships like Roro vessel or fast crafts that are crossing each, each, each time. So this symbol means it is a breakwater this and this means that it is a prohibited area so C note means you have to look at in this area so prohibited area no vessel of any description except those authorized by the commander Republic of Singapore Navy so it is only for the army or the naval forces of the Singapore that can anchor here in this place so this symbol means that it is it is a yellow boy so as you can see it is written here Y and here is the light characteristics of the boy so this is the name of the boy which is airway and there is another here the yellow boy again and the light characteristics and the name of the boy So here this symbol means that it is a yellow boy and here is the light characteristics that is displayed by this boy and the name of the boy. And here this symbol that is found on the top of the boy it means that this boy has a radar reflector. So as a radar it will detect it as long as it is found. So here this M and S is the characteristics of the seabed. So M stands for mud and S sand, stand for sand. Same here, sand and mud. So guys, that would be all. Hoping that you had understand or learned something today with us. That would be all. Thank you.